M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Cinetel have a promotion on the Zygu G106 Compact HF AM CW SSB QRP transceiver. Also has broadcast radio. I think it's a really good price. Now, if you're looking for one of these anyway, then, um, then why not? Let's have a quick look at their photographs. And of course, I'll be testing it. So you can see here, you've got the mode and band buttons on top. You've got some function buttons along the bottom, large VFO volume, and it's, yeah, it's a chunky, solid little device. I'll just go through some of the photographs there. The mic, there, believe it or not, there is not a speaker out. You have to connect it to the microphone. You can use it on Digi modes, but I believe you do need the C119 Zygu unit. So it's advertised as five watt. I think you can, it will do a bit more, maybe seven watts, but it is QRP, but you can connect it to something like the Micro PA50. And, um, and then you can get, you know, maybe even 50 watts, but it is a QRP radio designed to, I, be, I feel, compete with the, some of the USDR budget radios. So yeah, it may appeal to you. Of course, I'll be doing videos and testing this device. I, the reviews that I have seen show that actually owners are very happy with the device. There are videos that, are, that say not good things about this device, but Pota, Sota, you can see videos of people testing this device and they actually say for a, an item that you can just pick up, go out, you're not too worried about damaging it, it's a 200 pound device. Um, that they've had some really good results. So, and then when I saw that Cinetel um, are doing promotions, a promotion on it, I thought, yes, that's well worth it because it's 50, 60 pound less than it would normally. Just check out the, the, the postage cost wasn't low. It was um, nearly 15 pound, but I'm sure if you contact them, they might do you a deal. But it did come next day and their service is always excellent. Cinetel, a well-known uh, for their service, especially with Zygu products, and you can see here at the, at the, on their website. And I, I, you know, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just showing you that they've got the new X6 uh, 200, X6 100, the X G106, and then you can see the, Zy the, the, the G90. All, all very popular devices, and they're all on sale as well, by the looks of it. I wonder if the G90 they've got is the is the slightly newer model, which is the, I think it's known as the G90N or something. Uh, just curious. So bye for now. All the best. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. 7.3. M0FXB. Let's take a look at the Zygu G106. Many, many reviews on this device. Let's see what we think about it. So about £250. And I think designed to compete with the, the lower or the lower priced transceivers a bit like these it's a qrp transceiver and these are about 150 so it's going to be quite basic but if you look at the reviews from people that have got this device they're not bad they actually say it's a very solid device so yeah you've got some certification there instruction manual let's have a look at that i'll keep my hands out of the way yeah, quite quite basic operation manual. And what's in here? Electrical safety. And then if we lift off and we reveal it straight away. Very solid looking, even when it's in the box. So let's take it out. Just have a feel of the weight. Yeah, that's a real chunky and actually quite pleasing to the eye. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm very happy what I'm seeing. So I've seen people have made 3D printed knobs that are lighter. These are made from aluminium. You can also make yourself a 3D printed stand, probably sell them. It looks like your microphone connector, volume, VFO. And on the top, we've got on off mode. And if you press and hold these, they have different functions, but mode and band and yeah. On the back, we've got a BNC connector, which I actually prefer. Uh, a grounding connector, Kia for your CW, COM for CAT interfaces and ACC, and then you've got your 9 to 16 volt input, usual input. So yeah, I think it was like all of your Zygu X6, 100, 200 type power supplies are going to fit fine. Now interestingly, I don't know why they did this, but they didn't add 
Uh, and I wouldn't say it was even a cost saving measure if you ask me. They actually didn't add a speaker out jack and I just, I don't understand that because I just don't get it. But anyway, what they did do was add a connector to the microphone, uh, which is just a budget, almost Bofeng style microphone that you can plug a speaker into, which is just, just here and which we've seen many times these kind of connectors and there's your DC cable um, which I probably would just end up using the one for my Zygo but anyway there's your DC cable so that's what's in the box let's get this thing set up go through all the functions and settings but first impressions and this was 199 pound from Cinetel UK delivered um, I like it 